I call Jenny Marcroft. Mahi nui ki a koe, Madam Speaker. Uh, it is my pleasure to stand and speak on behalf of New Zealand First on the Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill. And I speak today uh, for the first time on this bill, uh, as my colleague Mark Patterson is unable to be here today following a family tragedy. Uh, so I will take this call on his behalf. Um, so thank you for, for your time here today in the House. Uh, I'm not familiar so much with the dairy industry other than my short time as a 15-year-old, uh, as a foster child on a dairy farm. Uh, and I did spend some time in the herringbone milking shed learning how to dodge uh, as you run from one end of the shed to the other uh, in your pair of overalls, hopefully not getting the... <laughs> and a hat, absolutely, uh, with a wide brim uh, as well. So uh, that is a, a, a particular love uh, I have from my childhood, those memories of those cold, freezing mornings in the cow shed, uh, where I did actually, in fact, learn how to milk by hand uh, and so uh, I might not be the cavalry coming in on this uh, particular reading from New Zealand First, but I perhaps am the dairy maid, uh, and so able to speak on this with uh, some hands-on experience, so to speak. Uh, New Zealand First will support this bill, as we have all the way through the readings in the House. We support this bill because it will prevent the expiry in May 2018 of certain provisions in the Dairy Restructuring Amendment Act that regulate the South Island's dairy industry. And when I looked at the purpose of this uh, bill, uh, aiming to prevent that expiry uh, for the certain provisions in the Dairy Industry Restructuring Act 2001, DERA, uh, which creates a process for periodic reviews of competition in the dairy industry, and providing certainty for the dairy industry about the regulatory regime. Uh, now, uncertainty is one of the things that uh, farmers don't have a heck of a lot of. Uh, certainty is something they would like more of, I am sure. Uh, they don't have certainty in the weather. Uh, all seasons can blow across a day, uh, especially when it's haymaking season. Uh, certainty in milk solid prices, they would obviously like to have more of those. So this bill will supply our dairy farmers, and particularly those in the South Island, with more certainty, and that is a very good thing. Uh, this bill, giving the, uh, these farmers certainty around the regulatory environment they're working in now, uh, while making sure we don't jump the gun and make rash changes to other legislation. Uh, we would like to ensure that our dairy industry continues to thrive. That is very important for us, it's very important for our economy, so that also our farmers too get a fair go. We need to take a strategic approach. Now, this is a very important issue for our primary sector, it's important for our South Island dairy farmers, it's important for all of our dairy farmers and their contribution to the primary industry and how important that is for all of us. So I'd like to thank the Minister, uh, the Honourable Damien O'Connor, for bringing certainty through this sector. The dairy industry in Fonterra is a valuable in uh, institution, a valuable business, um, and that certainty, that milk, will get picked up from the gates as well. And I'd like to uh, just make mention of my Papa Manuera Tohu. Uh, in his uh, younger days, uh, as a young man, he had a job as a tanker driver, picking up the cream cans uh, in Dargaville. And uh, he talked uh, a lot of stories to us about uh, how much he enjoyed that job, getting those uh, cans from the gates of the early days dairy farmers in the 50s, and um, how often he may, in fact, pick up a kid running to school who'd had to milk the cows by hand, put out the, the cream cans, and then get themselves seven miles down the road in bare feet to school. So, uh, yes, I've uh, perhaps exhausted my f family tales of my experience in the dairy industry uh, for now, and so thank you... Uh, for allowing me to do so, and I would just like to reiterate New Zealand's first support of this bill and thank the Minister and all the supporting partners of this government. Kia ora koutou. The only thing you left out was the you know, running in the snow, I think. The bare feet in the snow. I call the Right Honourable David Carter.